Welcome to another MI Rack tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to use uh, uh, phrase sequences in MI Rack. So let's click Add, let's go to the Tags category and let's select um, a Mixer, an HNO Mixer Add to Batch. Let's connect the output of the mixer to the audio output. Let's raise the mixer level and also the individual. Uh, let's start with uh, just two of them for now. Uh, the individual uh, channels. Let's add um, a uh, clock. Here we go. Then let's add, uh, let's go to sequencer now. Um, here we are, let's add a phrase sequence 16 for 16 step, add to batch. And then let's add also a um, standard VCO. Here we are, let's now uh, connect this. So let's connect the uh, run from the clock to the run of the phrase sequence. And uh, the same for the reset if you want to do so. And also let's take the first output of the clock, clock one from the clock module into the clock on the phrase sequence. Let's take the CV output of the phrase sequence into the V oct. Um, of the VCO and then let's take um, the so output from the VCO and let's connect that into the channel one. And let's stop playing the patch as you can hear you have um, we have the VCO playing a uh, so tough. Um, let's turn down the mix level because I need to have the uh, patch playing to use the phrase sequencer. As you can see, you have uh, in the phrase sequencer a keyboard where you can select the notes and on top of that you have steps for your song and which you can uh, select. So, uh, and it's very simple, you select the step and then you uh, click or play on the, the note and the keyboard to select what notes to play it in the sequence. And so let's create um, a pattern. So let's click play. Okay, second step, a D. Third step, an E, fourth step, an F, sixth step, a E, and the same of A, then repeat. Um, then on the last four steps, instead of using an E, uh, uh, use a G for alternating. Okay, so let's hear it. Okay, I found um, a bit um, annoying that the um, uh, so wave is always playing. So let's add uh, an ADSR and also um, let's mix that ADSR with um, a mix module before it goes in the 8 uh, channel mixer. So plus sign, let's go to the packs because it's easy to access in this way. In the packs category, let's add an ADSR and then the same, let's add a mix 1. Here we go. So let's now uh, take the output of the SOTOF and connect it into the um, level of the um, mixer, mix one. Then um, let's connect the output of the ADSR on the um, um, level of the uh, mixer one let's take the output of the mixer one let's connect it to the channel one in this case and then let's connect the gate of the adsr module to that clock in the clock module and let's click play okay as you can see now we can adjust the attack the decrease the sustain and also the release. Okay, next up, let's make it more interesting. Let's add uh, 
adverb syntax category and let's go to the verb let's select the name verb add to batch great so um, now let's um, uh, con disconnect that output from the mix one and let's connect the output to the input left and right that the reverb and then let's take left and right that reverb and connect it to channel one and channel two and let's listen okay so hopefully uh, this is playing how to use uh, the phrase uh, um, sequencer. Um, let's um, add another one to see, to, cre to create a more uh, complex uh, set of melodies. So let's add again a sequencer. Uh, the same one is fine, add to patch. Um, so is over there. Let's take that clock one inside the clock. Let's take the run inside to run there okay then um, let's add another vco so oscillator vco add to patch here we go and let's take the cv of that phrase sequencer into the v oct of the second uh, oscillator okay and uh, for simplicity, let's take the um, the sine wave of that oscillator and connect it to the channel three of the mixer. Um, let's turn down the mix level and let's play and let's create a pattern for this. And let's try and let's listen, let's increase the mix level again. As you can see, I forgot to raise the level channel three, so let's listen again. Let's take the uh, square wave instead of the sound wave. Let's listen. Now let's load another IDSR and mix one module as we just did a moment ago. Okay, let's take, um, let's connect the output to the second VCO. Let's connect that output into the uh, mixer level, the output of that uh, second DSR into um, the level of the mixer. Then let's take the clock a gate for the second DSR and connect it to, um, to that second clock from the clock module and then let's connect the um, output of the mixer one to channel three let's listen again and adjust the ADSR um, parameters Okay, let's finally add another module, like for example, a delay. Um, uh, which one should we um, 
choose just a simple uh, delay or do patch. Here we go. Let's take the output of that uh, mixer one for the second VCO and let's connect it into the input of that delay and then take the output of the delay and go back onto channel three and let's play. Okay, and you can continue like this. As you can see, uh, the patch is getting more complicated. Uh, for example, you could now uh, use uh, one of the previous tutorials that I recorded and um, add, for example, a drum pattern to it. And um, it will be um, very simple. Um, let's actually try it. So let's click the plus sign and uh, let's go to drum and let's select click, kick, add to patch. Okay, let's connect the clock number three to the trigger one of that kick and then take the output and let's go to channel four and let's increase the level of that channel four to max otherwise we don't hear it that kick and let's try. I muted the first three channels because you couldn't really hear the uh, channel, the kick on channel 4, um, but you can adjust the volume of course. Okay, and then of course um, you can continue like this, you can go on up snare, high hats, close hats, uh, you can connect a uh, sampler and so on and so forth. So I, f I hope you found this one useful as well and see you at the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.